Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do something special. I usually don't do a lot of cooking videos and I really love to do camp cooking. Today we're going to be doing a dessert and it's with a Dutch oven and it's called Cherry Crisp. Come along and join me and I'll show you how I make it. Ingredients for today's video, we're going to use two cans of cherry pie filling. We're going to use one box of yellow cake mix. We're going to use about a half a pound of walnuts and two sticks of butter. Real simple. Let's get to cooking. First order of business is I need to get some coals hot for this. So I'm going to put in some paper towel. Tear my bag open here. Fill up my chimney. Heat up that wet fire that I put in there help get this going and then heat up the paper towel that's on the bottom part of the prep is we're melting the butter so when we add all the ingredients in this is one of the last things that we add now for the ingredients we're going to add the two cans of cherry pie filling and basically you're just dumping it in there We're just camping, so we're not worried about being too neat. This isn't the Food Network. All right, and then what I usually do is just shake this a little bit to level it out. So, I have my cherry pie filling in. Next, I'm gonna add my cake mix. Important note when you're adding the cake mix, do not stir it. You're just layering it on top of the cherry pie filling. And you just evenly space it all the way around. And I know it seems a little weird, but trust me, this cake mix is going to cook and it's going to come out really nice, delicious, awesome treat for when you're out here camping. Keep spinning around, nice even layer. And then what I do is I just take my hand and I just spin it around a little bit, breaking up the big clumps. There, I'm good to go there. Now, I'm gonna put in the walnuts and we just sprinkle them on top. Next, we layer in the two sticks of butter. Just pour it on top, nice and easy. Go all the way around even. There's no wrong way to do this. You're out here camping. And the great thing about these Dutch ovens is that it gives you a lot of leeway. There's not too many ways that you can mess up a meal. So, all my ingredients are now in the Dutch. I'm going to put the lid on. And the next step is I'm going to show you how many coals that we put under and on top. Now, how we're gonna set this up is, usually I put eight to 10 coals on the bottom and about 15 to 18 coals on the top. What I'm looking to do is whenever you're baking anything, you always want the top to be hotter than the bottom so it doesn't burn the ingredients on the bottom of the Dutch oven. So, let's take our hot coals out. I'll place about eight of them as a start down here, get them going. Pick my best ones here for the bottom. OK, 
Okay, so I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good to get me going. I put my Dutch oven on top of those. And then I start adding some coals to the top of the Dutch. What we're going to try to do is get this up to 350 degrees and we're going to cook it for approximately 30 minutes. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not constantly opening and closing the lid on this Dutch because what happens there is that you're just letting all that nice hot air that's baking escape. So you want to set this bad boy up and then you want to forget it for a little while. And then in 30 minutes we'll come back and we'll check on it. Got to get my best coals here. I still have some that are still trying to get hot. I always like using a pan underneath my coals. One, it helps not burn the ground, especially if I'm doing stuff where grass is or stuff that can get caught on fire. And it kind of acts as a reflector as well to uh, reflect that heat right back up to the bottom of the Dutch. So this is pretty much it. We're going to cut away in about 30 minutes and I'll show you the end product. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes. We're up at altitude. We're up at 5,500 feet. So let's take the lid off and we'll do the big reveal. Being careful not to get ashes in. This is the end result. So what I'll do is I'm going to put the lid back on. We'll take the coals off and then we'll set this off to the side and let it cool down. Folks, don't be afraid to have a lot of fun out here camp cooking. What I've showed you today, minimal ingredients. All you need is a Dutch oven. You can get that at Walmart. They're already pre-seasoned, ready to go. Come on out here. Don't be afraid to experiment and try some of these recipes. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you for checking in, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Folks, if you like the content, please subscribe, like, and share. And for the latest channel updates, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Folks, thanks for checking in. Until the next video, take care. We'll see you.